Good morning, 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 good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Motivation Friday. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, handsome. Yeah. Okay, kings and queens. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am Queen Shamise, the world's motivational, inspirational speaker. And I wanted to greet you all and just say, I love you guys. I just wanted to greet you all and say, I am so excited about today's message. And I'm here to end your week. Hmm. And I can't wait, guys. I'm so excited, okay? Um, I'm supposed to be on YouTube at this time, but it's turning and turning and turning. So I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here, and I'm going to have to upload it when I'm done to YouTube. So kings and queens on Facebook, good morning. Good morning to kings and queens on YouTube. I got you guys. Don't worry about it. I'll make sure the video is up there. Good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone listening from YouTube and Spotify. I thank you guys. I thank you guys. I thank you guys for all the like and all the love. Again, all the likes and all the love is right back at you. So, kings and queens, my week has been... um. Very interesting, you know. Um, I came across some things and um, it kind of blew my mind because I really did not know that um, <laughs> I, I, I really don't know how to explain this. I, I, can't, I, I can't even explain it, guys. I'm going to be so out of with you. I, I don't even know how to explain it. Because it's like, I don't know how I do all that I do. And I'm still standing. But what I do know is, it's because of God. That's what I do know. I can't explain how he moves me. I can't explain how he gets me up and he moved me. I, I can't, like, I can't explain it. Like, you don't, it's like being on this mission, I really find it interesting about how I just, I know that if I tried to do this 10 years ago, Okay, well, even so, 20 years ago, okay, I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't even have the energy or the capacity to hold the weight because it's so intense that you can't, you can't play when it comes to God business. You can't. You can't be up in his business. Let me just put it like that. You can't be up in his business while you have your own business. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Because I'm going ahead of myself. But I I just want to let you guys know that everything doesn't need an explanation. Because when it's coming from God, okay, when it's coming from God, it doesn't need to be explained. God said you don't have to explain. Because if I said it, I said it. If I said do it, I said do it. So you don't need to explain what God is speaking to you about. And I know it can be scary. I know it can be challenging. But God always says, don't be weary in well-doing. 
Because if it's right, it's right. If it's not, it's not. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to keep it real. Come on, somebody revive. And this is why you being, good guys, this is why you're being, nobody can understand why, how, where, when. Because it's you. And nobody thought that it would just be you. So I want you guys to think about that. Meditate on that. Because I'm really telling you guys, I'm not telling you guys what I think. I'm telling you guys what I know. Okay? I don't, I don't just, I don't do this because it sound good. I don't do it. Because I want it to be good. I do it because God said it's good. And when God says it's good, I can't argue back with that. All I can say is, yes, Father, let your will be done. So I'm telling you guys, when God speaks to you, listen to him. Because he's not telling you anything to steer you wrong. He's telling you because he knows. Good God, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He's telling you because he knows. And because he knows. If you believe in the God, I believe you know. So it doesn't matter what anybody else says, King. It doesn't matter what anybody else says, Queen. Because he knows you know. But the question is, you can hear that. But your question should be, do you really know? Come on, somebody. Good God. Good Lord. Okay, okay, okay. Let me calm down. Okay. Because I told y'all I was excited. Y'all know when I'm on fire. I be going, I be, I be going, like a little kid that want ice cream, I be going, okay, so kings and queens, welcome, welcome to RC Speak Revive, again, I am Queen Shamish, the world's motivational, inspirational speaker, and today's message, I am so, so excited, but as you guys know, the queen, I gotta do my prayer, I can't just jump into the message like that without my prayer, you know, so, I don't care where you're from. I don't care what's going on in your life right now. God got his hand on you. And that's what I'm going to tell you. Whether you realize it or not. I'm saying it from a heartfelt place. Okay? And I want you guys to bow with me. If you don't believe in the same God as me, that is fine. By me, come back when... You hear I'm done with my prayer because I'm going to always pray. Always. So, let's revive. Bow with me, kings and queens. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray and I sit before you, Lord. I come to you in this hour, in this moment, in this second, in this minute. To let you know that I appreciate you. To let you know that I love you. Not for what you can do for me, but how you teach me. How you lead me. How you move me. How you uplift me. How you continue to show me and tell me what you know about me. Even if there are some things that I don't know about myself. Even if there are things that the kings and queens don't know about themselves. I come to you in prayer, Lord Father God. 
that your word is more powerful than any other word. Your word is more powerful than any other man's word. Your word is more powerful than any other woman's word. Your word is more powerful than the words that I speak, Lord, Father God. Good God, Lord. Although you are here with me in my presence to give the message that you set before me, Lord, Father God. I pray, Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that each and every king and queen can know because you know, Lord. You know. So therefore, we should know. Because you spoke it to us first, Lord, Father God. And that is why it is important for us to believe and be and have faith, Lord. I thank you, Lord, Father God, for anybody that is trying in this time, Lord, Father God. For anybody that is trying to raise up and stand up for what they believe in, Lord, Father God. For anybody that is trying to come back into stability with their minds and their hearts and their spirits and their soul, Lord, Father God. And their body, Lord, Father God. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, Father God, for love and peace. Upon each and every king's and queen's heart, mind, body, and soul, Lord, Father God. For anybody that is fighting for their marriage right now, Lord, Father God. For anybody that is trying to keep their household together, keep their family together, Lord, Father God. Keep you in the middle of everything that they do, Lord, Father God. Keep you in the middle of depression, Lord, Father God. Keep you in the middle of anxiety, Lord, Father God. Keep you in the middle of anything that's trying to go wrong right now, Lord, Father God. God, for anything that is trying to poison our minds, Lord, Father God, I pray, Lord, Father God, that you keep your hand on us, Lord. I pray, Lord, Father God, that you keep your hand on our hearts. I pray, Lord, Father God, that you keep your hand on our souls and our spirits and our bodies, Lord, Father God, because no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father God, have your way on this message, on this day, with our lives, with the way you know you brought us and raised us up, Lord, Father God. Have your way on this Motivation Friday. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, 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 amen. So, kings and queens, let's get busy. So, we know that I have talked about Long Haul Part 1. I hope you guys enjoy that message because I know I did. I know I did. So today we are here on this Friday. And you know, speaking of something, I'm surprised that I'm, I'm surprised that I'm here on a Friday. But I know God ain't surprised because he already knew. Yeah, that's just something that I just didn't know. I, I thought it was going to be on a Sunday as usual. God said, no, I'm going to surprise you today. So, kings and queens, this is long haul part two. Because he know, you know. Because he know. Do you know? There's nothing new done under the sun. Let's talk about that for a minute. Because I know that we hear this all the time. There's nothing new done under the sun. And what I've learned, the reason there's nothing new done under the sun is because God already knew. Each and every one of our lives, before we knew it, before our mama knew it, before our daddy knew it, before our brains even developed. So, what God knows, 
It's not new. Come on, somebody. Revive. And because he know. Do you know? I learned that just because he knows something doesn't mean I have to know something. And let's be honest, there are some things that we keep questioning God about that we're really not ready to know yet. Good God, Lord. And because we know he know, we just want to know just because. Yeah, we're going to talk about it today. And I know a lot of y'all not going to like me for this message today. It's some things that we keep asking him. That he's saying, hey, you're not ready for that yet. I mean, I would love to tell you. But why are you in my business? Good God. And I know Jesus be in heaven saying, why are you in the Father's business? Do you not have your own business to mind? He knows your business. Do you know your business? Uh Uh-oh. He knows your business. Do you know your business? He knows the business that you're set to do that was before you. Do you know your business? He knows who you are. Do you know who you are? He knows the business that you're supposed to start. Do you know the business you're supposed to start? Good Lord, good God. He knows the book you're supposed to write. Do you know the book you're supposed to write? He knows how you're supposed to work your marriage. Do you know how you're supposed to work your marriage? I'm just saying, because we want to know all up in God's business, but we don't know our own business. Come on, somebody, revive. And for me, God had to set the record straight. He said, I know you want to know what's happening on my end. But if you would just mind the business that pays you right now. Good Lord, good God. Then you will know soon what is yet to come. But you are not ready. And you know you're not ready for it. So why would you ask me for information that you, why don't you ask me something that you know you need? Good Lord. We keep asking God for things that we don't need. We ask him for things that we want, but not what we need. And it all boils down to God. He knows, but do you? So, we going somewhere, don't worry. I know y'all saying, where's she going with this? So, when God said, mind the business that pays you, I go, Lord, they say that down here on earth. I mean, no, like, I mean, I really be talking to God. I mean, honestly, I'm going to tell y'all, I, I be having a conversation with him. Okay, and I don't care what anybody says, but that's just what it is. So I said, God, they say that down here on earth. And he said, I'm saying it in heaven. I'm saying it to you in heaven. I'm from heaven. I'm saying it to you. Mind the business that pays you. And whatever business that you are set to do, do it well. Do it with all your might. And I said, God, I ain't got no business. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I said, I don't got no business. I don't know what business you're talking about. Because I don't have no business. He go, oh, yeah? Okay. 
So, I call myself taking a leap on faith. And I say, you know what? God, I know you know, but I don't even want to know. He go, that's what I need. See, there's a difference. See, people would think that I was having an attitude with God. Absolutely not. Because when God said, mind the business that pays you, I had to really sit down with myself, King. I had to really sit down with myself and say, God must know so much about me that I don't even know about myself. And yet, I sit here and act like I don't have any business. And he's telling me I do. So when I take a leap on faith and I say, God, I don't want to know. I don't know. I don't want to know what you're doing. I don't want to know what you're going to do with me. I don't want to know how you're going to do it with me. I don't want to know your business. Because I want to know mine. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Woo! Good God, Lord. See, that's why we can't focus on what's in front of us because we're too busy worrying about what God is doing. But if we will stay focused on what's in front of us and what God set before us, King, what he knows, you will know. And let me make it better for you. What he knows, you already know. Good Lord. When I take a leap on faith and I say, God, I don't want to know. I just want to know my business. I just want to know what it is that I'm supposed to do. I just want to know mine. Because you know, I want to know too. I mean, it's really some things that we shouldn't ask God to know. That we should be asking him what we need to know. Not what we want to know. Now, I don't know the relationship you have with your God. But I know the relationship I have with my God. Come on, somebody. Because he know you know. You're just acting like you don't know. And God is saying, that's the business I need you to mind because you're acting like you don't know when you really do. Yeah. I want to know my business, Lord. Because he know. What I didn't want to know, he revealed, king. What I didn't want to know, he revealed, queen. Because God knew what I was capable of. God knew I didn't want to be perfect, but I wanted to be who I am. God knew more about me than I knew about myself. God knew that all I wanted was to love me. God knew all I wanted to know was about me. Good God, Lord. But I said to myself, I can't possibly know about me if I don't know about him. Come on, somebody. Mm, good Lord Jesus. Woo. So the reason I could not see and know and understand what God was saying about me, it was because I didn't know him well enough. It was because I didn't take the time to know him myself. It was because I was listening to what other people said about him and not getting to know him myself. Because he know who he is. Do you? Mm, good God. And the reason most of us cannot see what God is speaking about us, most of us can't even understand it. And that's okay if you don't understand. But he's saying as long as you know. But we can't even have the ability to know because we don't know who he is. And when you don't know who he is, then you can't understand who you are. 
and you can't understand what he said about you. You can't understand what he said about your marriage. You can't understand the business that he set in front of you for your children. You can't understand the business he set before you for that business. You can't understand the business that he set before you. The work that he set before you that he already knew about you. Good God, we going somewhere, King. Because I need you to revive. I didn't know I had business. Good Lord Jesus. I'm not saying that I didn't know me. I'm saying that I didn't understand me. Good Lord Jesus. Woo. And God said, don't worry. I'm going to make sure. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm motivating and inspiring. But God is saying to you and I, don't worry. You ain't got to understand a thing. But if you just know what I said is what I said, that's all you need. I didn't understand the business that was set before me because I didn't understand me. I didn't know how important I was to him. Do you know how important you are to him? Do you know how important your mental health is to him? Do you know how important your depression is to him? Do you know how important your stress is to him? Do you know how important your internalizing is to him? Do you know how important the externalizing that you give to him? Do you know how important that is? I just didn't know the business of God I was. Good Lord. See, you think that you're not important. Woo! Just because you're not important to other people. Just because you're not important to your mama. Just because you're not important to your daddy. Just because you're not important to your friends. Just because you're not important. It doesn't mean that you're not important to God. Who am I talking to? I don't know who I'm talking to. Because God knows you know you're important to him. You got to know you're important to him. And if I wanted to know the business of myself, I needed to know who I was walking with. God, Jesus, help me, God. So, because I didn't know how important I was to him, good Lord, God said, I know. So now that you have rejected yourself of knowing everything or wanting to know everything, now I can show you and tell you what the business is of you. Because see, we don't know the business that is of us because we are so busy elsewhere in business. I mean, like, we're so busy elsewhere in business with somebody else's relationship. We worrying about the relationship with God that God has with someone else. We're worrying about all those other things that we shouldn't be worrying about. I'm just saying, King. I'm just saying, Queen. I know that we want to know sometimes, but most of the time, it's not meant for us to know. Because God doesn't want us to turn back around. God doesn't want us to reject the thing that he put in front of us. God doesn't want us to say we're not worth it. God doesn't want us to say this is not for me. God doesn't want us to say this is done. I am done. I can't do this. He's saying I want to keep you going. See. The one thing. I realized when I realized that I really didn't know what business I had. And I know that would sound a little crazy to most of you. Okay. But hey, it is what it is because 
See, when we don't really know the relationship we have with God, we don't understand how important the business is. And the business is so important that he takes it personal. You think you're the only one that takes your life personal. He takes your life personal. The one thing that God knew about me for the long haul, good Lord, and he wants you to know this about you for the long haul. I need y'all to say to yourself, I'm it for the long haul. I need you to tap your partner and say, you it for the long haul. We it for the long haul. We in this for the long haul. Because we got to revive from this thing called doubt. We got to revive from this thing called we don't know. We got to revive from this thing called selfishness and blame and being blamable. We got to revive. And God is saying, if you only knew the business that was set on your life, whew, if you knew the business, good Lord, that I had for you, you would probably really turn back around. You would really probably put the thing back down. And this is why God doesn't want us to know everything. This is why he wants us to know about our business only. And because I knew I wasn't a quitter. Did I really know I wasn't a quitter? Do you really know you're not a quitter? I mean, like, because he know, but do you know? Let's just, let's just be real here. Because the way the world interprets quitting is not the way quitting really looks. It's not the way quitting really is. I need you to know that you're not running out of time. Because when you on your business and God is on his business and y'all become and we become together in business with God, you never run out of time. God said you don't run out of time until I say your time is up. So, cause he know, but do you know you're not a quitter? See, the world wants you to think that just because you drop a thing, you're a quitter. Just because, see, quitting is not dropping a thing and picking it back up. That's not quitting. So I need you kings to queens to look at this thing a little bit different. Because just because you put it down doesn't mean that you're quitting. You only quitting because you put it down and never pick it back up. But as long as you pick it back up, you are not a quitter. As long as you pick your marriage back up, you are not a quitter. As long as you continue to lift your children up, you are not a quitter. For as long as you follow God's direction, you are not a quitter. For as long as God keep pumping life in you, come on somebody, revive, you are not a quitter. Because he know. But do you? And we keep listening and wanting to listen to things that doesn't serve us. Good Lord, says God. That wasn't even my message. But I guess God wanted me to say it because somebody needed to hear that. Why do we keep listening to things that doesn't serve us to be better? Why do we keep listening to things that are not of truth? 
Good Lord. We going somewhere, y'all. Believe me. Because when you all up in God's business, you can't see your business. Mm. And because I was all up in God's business, I couldn't see my own. And he kept saying, mind the business that pays you. Mind the business that pays you. Because I didn't know, it's not that I didn't want to see. It's because I didn't know. It's not, and, and there's some things that we say that people don't want to see. It's not that they don't want to see king. It's not that they don't want to see queen. It's because they don't know. And we have to get out of rearming of not knowing. Because if he said it, you know. I didn't know, so I couldn't see, king. I didn't know, so I couldn't be, queen. I didn't know, so I couldn't walk, queen. I didn't know, so I couldn't mind my business, good lord. I just really couldn't see it. Why do we see and know what we want to see and know? And not what God see and know. Come on, somebody, revive. Because what we want to see and know is not what God wants us to see and know. This is why I love God so much. Because even when you don't know, God is going to give it to you. Even when you think you don't know, God is going to continue to speak it to you. He's going to continue to remind you. He's going to continue to show you. He's going to continue. God does not stop. If you are, good Lord God, thank you. If you knew the God that you have, if God is not a quitter, what makes you think you are? Good Lord God. Jesus didn't die for us being a quitter. He died for us being a reviver. Come on, somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you need to take a look at your God again. So, why do we want to see and know what we want to see and know? But don't want to see and know what God need us to see and know. What you don't know, you can't see. This is why you got to check back with your God every time you think you don't know something. You got to check back with your God about your business. Come on, somebody. See, we want to constantly keep trying to do things on our own. But God is saying, when are you going to involve me? Because I got some things that I want to tell you. I got some things that you need to know. But I want to show you that when you about your business first, then I can show you and tell you about the business that I had for you. Good Lord, good God. And that's the, that's the truth. I'm telling you what I know, King. I'm telling you what I know, Queen. Because he's saying, I'm with you for the long haul. Are you with me for the long haul? What you don't know, you can't see. But I'm going to tell you something. Even what you don't know, you can't see. He knows, and that's all you need. Ooh, if you for the long haul, you know that as long as God know, he's going to let you know, king. As long as God know, he's going to let you know, queen. As long as God 
got it. He's going to show you, queen. As long as God got it, he's going to show you, king. So why are you questioning him about what he already told you? Do you know you're not a quitter? I will hope that you would know you're not a quitter. I want you to know that you're not a quitter. Now let me let 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 me elaborate on some things, okay? Because I need you guys to know that it was something God knew about me that I didn't know about myself. It's not that I didn't believe it. I just couldn't see it. And God said, I'm going to use that thing because I know, I know. See, God will use the smallest things. See, God is not about big things. God is not about money. God is not about cars. God is not about clothes. God is not about any of that. God loves small things. I'm telling you what I know. I'm going to share my experience with you guys because I have permission to share it. God used the weakest part of me. Yeah. God used the part of me that he knew it was something that made me stronger. So anything that made me weak made me stronger. And although it made me weak and I became stronger over time, it doesn't mean that I never quit. Come on, somebody. It doesn't mean that I never quit. So anybody that tells you that they never quit, don't let them lie to you. Because there are going to be times that you will quit. But you're not a quitter because you put it down. You're a quitter because you leave it down. If you leave it down and you leave it sitting down and you don't pick it back up, yes, you are a quitter. I'm going to be honest with you, king. I'm going to be honest with you, queen. Because a quitter want to know too much. Good God, Lord. A quitter want to know too much. Non-quitters, we don't want to know a lot. We just want to know our business. We just want to know what we need to do. We just want to know what God wants us to do. There are some things that we don't need to really know. But what you need to know is that God is not a quitter, so you ought to not be a quitter. I know I'm going to offend some people. But you need to understand how God needs you to be stronger than what you know you think you are. He knows you're stronger than you think you are. That's why he's saying, ah, don't, don't leave it there. Pick it back up. Don't leave your marriage there. Pick it back up. Don't leave the children there. Pick them back up. Don't leave the book there. Pick it back up. I don't care how many times you sit something down. Pick it back up. You are not a quitter. Because he knows. Do you? He knows that if you do not leave it down, he knows what's going to happen. Do you know? Do you believe? You're in for the long haul. So, he used the fact that I'm not a person that gives up easily. Come on, somebody. He used the fact. See, God would use the very thing that you never thought he would use. This is why they say 
You can't cancel out who God uses and how he uses them. Stay out of God's business and get on your business that he set you on and set before you. Because then you can really see you when you get on the business that God gives you. And you won't be worrying about what he's doing with someone else. You won't be worrying about how he's using someone else. You won't be worrying about how he's blessing someone else. You won't be worrying about the things that you shouldn't be worrying about if you would just get on your business. Again, he knows your business, do you? He know more about your marriage than you do. Good Lord. He know more about you getting your PhD and you going to college and getting a degree more than you do. He know about the scholarship that you're applying for more than you do. But because you won't get on the business that he gives you, you all up in his business on how he going to do it. Oh yeah, we going somewhere. He used the very thing with me that he knew I took personal. Good Lord. And when God sees you take something personal, he take it personal too. Good Lord. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you better start paying attention. <laughs> You better start paying attention for what God knows about you. Because he wants you to know that he knows. He wants you to know that he knows. And because he knows, you will know. And you already know. Don't worry, we're going to get there. He uses the very thing that he knows I'm not a quitter. I don't give up easy. Oh, yeah, I, I need to let you guys know that. I, I don't give up easy. I mean, I like I've had been in places where somebody will say, give yourself a break. And I say, no, I'm okay. I'm good. Because I don't just give up easy. I can't just give up easy. I can't just give up easy. I have to keep picking the thing back up. Now, if it's something that I know I have to give to God, I'll give it to him. I'll, I'll let go of it. But if it's something that I know, because see, you got to believe in your God that he knows what he's doing. You got to believe that he has faith in you. You got to believe that he knows what he knows about you. You got to believe that he knows that you're not a quitter, that he knows that you have faith. But do you know you have faith? Do you know how much of a believer you are? Do you know anything you take personal? God takes personal. God is a personal God. Ooh, I'm telling you, God is a personal God. He takes things personal. He takes his children personal. He takes his children health personal. He takes his children stability personal. Excuse me. He takes everything the way we live personal. He takes it personal because he didn't just quit on us. He died for us. So Jesus says, God is going to use the fact that you don't quit. I didn't know that right away. I knew that as time went on. I didn't know that he was going to use the fact that I am not a quitter. I, I, I really actually thought that he was challenging if I was going to give up. But he didn't have to challenge if I was going to give up because he already knew that I wasn't going to give up. So now here we are. He puts me in a position where he know I'm not going to give up. He puts me in a position that if I know that if I give up, I give up on me. I give up on him. I give up on people that I love. I give up on the things around me that he set before me. 
Good Lord. Whoo, that's a message all by itself, King. I'm trying to tell you what I know. So I didn't know what I was long hauling for. Good Lord. As I said before, he knew I wasn't a quitter, but he puts me in a situation that if I wanted to quit, I couldn't. And I know you guys hear me talk about this so much because I take it personal and he takes it personal. And he says, I know what I know about you, but do you know what I know about you? And I, and I answer the question and I go, yeah, I know you know more about me than I know about myself. And this is the problem that we bump into. Come on, somebody. Quitters want to know too much. And the reason I say quitters want to know too much, and I'll say it again, and I won't take it back. Quitters want to know too much because they know that if they see anything that, that looks like they don't have strength for, they won't do it. And this is why God advised us, king. This is why God advised us, queen, not to be in his business. This is why he advised us to focus on the business that he gave us. Good Lord. And he pays us to mind this business. That's why we are still living. That's why we are still breathing. That's why we are still, still able to have our senses. Because he's paying us to mind the business that he gave us. Because he knows, but do you? Do I? So I bumped into something, Ping. I bumped into something, Queen. And he says, well, since you think you don't know, I'll tell you how much you really do know. And I go, okay, I'm ready. He goes, I need your undivided attention. No TV, no phone, no book, no nothing. Because I need you to hear me. And when you hear me, I need you to hear me loud and clear. The reason, King, the reason, Queen, I got you, Lord, I got you. I got you, Lord, I got you. The reason I, I am, I'm, I, he needs me to say it slowly. So I'm, I'm going to say it slowly, just the way he's telling me to say it. The reason, King, the reason, Queen, he knows, and we think we don't know, because we're not sure of what we know. Did you hear what I just said? We're not sure of what we know. That's why we don't know what the business is. Because we're not sure of what we know. So God said, I'm going to show you how sure you are. And this is what I bump into. He says to me, When I knew you, I knew you in your mother's womb. Your mother didn't even know you. You didn't even know you. Nobody knew you. So if anything, you should know you. If anything, you should know what I told you. So here you are asking me questions about something that I told you. Okay, y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. Okay, so when God gives you business, he don't give your business to your mama first. Good Lord. He don't give your business 
to your daddy first. He don't give your business to your friends first. He don't give your business to your children first. He gave your business to you first. So he needs you to stand on the business that he told you. Good Lord. I feel God. God said, I told you the idea first. I already knew. I told you the idea first. I told you you would have children first. And even when you didn't want to know, I told you and showed you anyway. So this is why you need to not question me because what you think you're not going to know, you're going to know because I'm going to tell you. See, God does a whole secret. He revealed them. And because he's not a quitter, he needs you to know that you're not a quitter. And everything that you're second guessing king, everything that you're second guessing queen, he told it to you first. He said, there's a trail. I know the trail that you ought to take. But do you know the trail that you ought to take? Of course you know, because I told it to you first. I told you you were going to write the book. I didn't tell your mother you were going to write the book. See, I made it look blind to them that you would do this. Yeah, see, this is why God, he don't like people in his business. So he'll blind some things when it comes to you. Come on, Jesus. He'll block some things when it comes to you. He'll put a hedge around you so nothing comes into you. Do you understand how God takes you personal? Because he knows what you're capable of. He knows how much of an amazing person you are. He knows how much of a heart you have. He knows, he knows, he knows. But do you know? God's business is not for quitters. Good Lord, good God. Now, I'm not saying that because you're a quitter that you can't turn into a non-quitter. Oh yeah, any given day, you could turn into a non-quitter. But you got to know how to mind your business if you're going to be a non-quitter. God don't like nosy. I'm just being honest. And I had to learn to stop being nosy. Come on, somebody. He knows you. He knows what you need, King. He knows what you need for the long haul. He knows what you don't know. Do you know your business? He set you to do with yourself. Even if you don't understand it, do you know the business that he set you to do with your children? Do you know the business that he set you to do when you have to take that time out by yourself, which is you and him in your prayer closet? Do you know the business that he set you to do? And if you don't know, you need to start asking him. God, what's my business? Because I'm tired of walking around not knowing what business I got. Because you know, and I know what you told me, but I need to know if you could show me how I got to do this thing. Because I know I'm it for the long haul. See, I learned that I knew I was it for the long haul. When I knew I was put in a position that I couldn't quit. I don't know who I'm talking to. But God is saying, it's something going to hit you so fast that you're not even going to be able to put the thing down. You're not even going to be able to put the pin down. 
You're not even going to be able to stop creating. You're not even going to be able to stop having an idea. You're not going to be able to stop walking. You're not going to be able to stop praying. You're not going to be able to stop talking to him. You're not going to be able to stop because he knows. And he just wants you to know that he knows. And all he asked me to do was stand on the business before me, that he set before me. I had to get out of his business and get what the business he gave me. It was so much that I didn't know that he revealed to me was I stepped out of his business. And y'all keep sleeping on God like he not the goat because he is. I know my God the goat, but I don't know about y'all. But if you know your God is the goat, you need to say, because he know, therefore I do. Because he know, therefore I do. Because he know, therefore I do. See, you know what you want to know. But you don't know what you need to know. Just like they say in the world, you hear what you want to hear. You don't hear what you need to hear. Come on, somebody. Oh, good Lord Jesus. You know what you want to know. You don't know what you need to know. Because God knows. But do you know? <laughs> Woo! God don't hold secrets, King. God don't hold secrets, queen. He reveals them for the long haul. But God works his business while you work your business. You come together with God. Now y'all own business together. Like for me, it can't get no better than that. Like, I, 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 I tell God all the time, God, listen, I don't know what you're doing and I don't want to know. Oh, yeah, I made that a promise to myself, King. I made that a promise to myself, Queen. I don't want to know. Because when we ask for things that we want to know, it's really something that we're not ready to know. You keep asking God, to reveal if your husband or somebody is doing you wrong or cheating on you. And he's saying, no, you don't need to know that. Because when I know that you're strong enough to handle it, I'll reveal it to you. And just because I reveal it to you doesn't mean that you have to drop the thing. It just means pick it back up. It doesn't mean give up on love. It doesn't mean give up on loving people. It doesn't mean give up. It doesn't mean be stuck in your ways. It doesn't mean to be arrogant. It doesn't mean to be naive. It doesn't mean, it just means pick it back up and treat it better. And God is saying, I just need you to treat your business better. Treat what I told you better. Love you better. Get in the renewing of your mind better. Take care of your body better. Get on your business. Everything else will be added on to you. I didn't know I had business, queen. I know I had things to do, but I didn't know I had business. See, there's a difference between having things to do and having business. Those are two different things. Because, see, business is priority. Mm. Having things to do, 
Whew, good Lord, it can be temporarily. Good Lord. So you can have something to do today, and then later on it's canceled. But when you're on business, it's a priority. It's something that's personal. It's something that God takes personal. It's something that your husband takes personal. It's something that your wife takes personal. It's something that your children takes personal. It's something that the people you love takes personal. And most importantly, you should take it personal. You don't take temporarily things personal. That's not business. That's just something to do. I'm just being honest. Oh, good Lord. That was a message all by itself right there. Because a lot of times we want to know something because we just want something to do. But it's not business. Come on, somebody. You know what? I got to go. Because I know people is not liking me right now. Okay? So, I want you guys to do me a favor. Because I love you and I care so much. So much, so much, so much. I'm telling you what I know. When you get out of God's business and get on the business he gave you, you will know more about him and you'll know more about you. Because it doesn't matter what we think we know about us. But it does matter about what God tell us about us. So in other words, you never stop knowing you. You never stop knowing him. See, had I not got to know God for myself, I wouldn't believe the way I believe. I wouldn't have faith the way I have faith. But because I know who my God is, I know what my business is. And my business is just not temporarily. My business is for the long haul. And I want you guys to know that your business is for the long haul. Your business is not temporarily. So anything that is temporarily was never business in the first place. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Okay, God. Okay. All right. Look, I got the gold king. I got the gold queen. <laughs> Because y'all know when I get on fire, God got to put me out, okay? So, I love you guys, and please do me a favor. Talk to God about what your business is, because he knows, and you already know, but keep talking to him about it, because there's still more that you need to know. There's more to you. There's more to him. There's more to your life. That's more to your goals. There's more to your children. There's more to your marriage. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more of you. And he got it. That's what I want you to hold dear to your heart. He got it. But you need to stay on your business. That's what I want you to hold dear to your heart. That's what I want you to know. He got it. Stay on your business. And talk to him about show business. Not about his business and what he's doing. I'm Queen Shamise. 
And again, thank you for joining RC Speak Revive. Until next time, with peace and love, kings and queens, I will load up the video on Spotify. I will load up the video on YouTube. So, kings and queens, be looking forward. Keep checking in and be looking forward to the daily quotes on Facebook and Instagram. I love you guys. I'm Queen Shamise with peace and love. Enjoy your weekend.